Well, Savannah, we always like having you on the show because you help us sort a few things out here. You always give us a few tips and tricks, and a lot of people are looking for those tips and tricks when it comes to saving at the grocery stores. Let's talk about the impact that inflation is having on those grocery bills. Well, the uh, food inflation rate at the grocery store is 2% more than the average, uh, than the inflation rate, general inflation rate. So people are absolutely noticing higher prices everywhere at the grocery store. There's not one section spared by what's going on with inflation right now. So you got to be careful. You got to be a little bit more nimble. Visiting more uh, than one grocery store may be a good idea if you can, if you have a car. Those are the kinds of things that we're seeing more and more people are trading down. They're looking at uh, private labels instead of national labels. So those are the things that we're seeing right now as consumers are becoming a little bit more frugal. Yeah, and some people also turning to couponing uh, as a way to save. Is this a yep. long-term solution, or do you think that grocery stores are going to start limiting those coupons? It helps, but uh, I think the, the, the next battle royale for grocers in Canada will be loyalty to keep you coming back to uh, the same store. And, and the one thing they're going to be using more and more are loyalty programs. Uh, the average Canadian actually is subscribed to nine loyalty programs. Uh, but here's the thing, Lois, most, most of us don't use points. We have a lot of points, which really is cash. Um, it's not a coincidence that uh, two weeks ago, uh, Empire Sobase decided to ditch Air Miles and go with a new program seen with uh, Bank of Nova Scotia. Uh, loyalty programs are to be uh, are going to be becoming more popular, they're going to be used more by grocers, and they're going to give you more money in return. So I would actually look into the points you already have and see how you can save at the grocery store. That's a good tip. Uh, also, yep. you know, a lot of people are wondering, okay, how much longer can this go on? Are we going to see relief or is this kind of going to be the new normal moving forward? Well, I mean, we're not out of the woods yet for sure. I, I think uh, the food inflation rate will be high for a while. We're expecting uh, the peak to happen sometime in Q3, which is probably w between July and, uh, and October, unfortunately. So we're, wow. we, haven't, we haven't peaked yet with, when it comes to food inflation in particular. So if you're out there struggling, you, you got to start doing things differently, unfortunately. And the other thing you can do is visit the freezer aisle more often. The nutritional value is actually actually there, prices are often very stable, much more stable than in the periphery of the store. Mm -hmm. Lots of peas, lots of broccoli, <laughs> lots of exactly. stuff that your mom told exactly. you you should be eating anyway, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, right. I mean, like I said, you can get, get a lot of, uh, of food for your money there. Okay. Thanks, as always, Sylvain. Sylvain Chalabai is the Senior Director of Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie University.